Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is an unboxing of my new Ratsa Rock Light. Um, I bought development board about a week ago. It was on special I think. But to be honest I can't remember the price right now. Um, this is the light version of the Ratsa Rock. It runs the Rockchip RK3188 CPU. Um, the only difference between this and the Pro version, I think, is um, it, this only has one gig of RAM, and storage space might be a little bit less. I'm not too sure. Together with the box, I've got this remote. This only cost me, I think, it was four dollars ninety nine US. It looks like a very nice, nifty little remote. Um, it's got the home button. Uh, power button, home button, directional keys, OK, um, the menu button, back button, volume up, volume down. And I think it takes the small battery, the, what do you call it, five, I don't know if the battery is inside it, yep. Lithium battery, uh, 3 volt battery, CR2032. Sorry about the background noise. Um, my daughter's playing with a new toy. Okay. Now let's go to the unboxing. Um, for the first 1,000 buyers, I think you got a free case, um, see-through um, uh, case that comes along with it. I don't know if they sent the media set they were going to, but just some metal. Make sure there's no static. Here's the board itself. It's a Ratsarok. Development board. Um, little upside down. Okay, as you can see, it's like a RK three one double eight CPU. Um, with the IOs, you have your power. Okay, you have your power. That's your audio. That's also um, optical out, HDMI, Ethernet, and that's the Wi-Fi antenna. On the side we have the um, GPIO. Is that what they call? I'm not, not too sure. On the other side we have two USB, micro SD. That's a power and a uh, micro USB O2G port. And next to it you have the power button. Um, and that there is the I.O. receiver, uh, so when you want to use a remote control with um, XPMC and so on. I haven't had the opportunity to use it yet, like, a, like you saw me. Oh yeah, by the way, on the side there's a little uh, button, it might be a, um, a reset button to put the board into... Um, uh, what's that mode? It's a boot up mode so you can, I don't know, flash different firmware. Fast boot mode maybe it's called, I'm not too sure. Okay, what else comes in the box? Oh yeah, I'll show you the back of it as well. Which might be a good idea. I think that there is the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth uh, module. And you have your... I think it's got a few what's um, um, LCD and camera um, inputs. I don't know what they're called. But anyway, uh, together with the Rexel Rock, I got this little box. 
and the rest of the box is empty. So let's just open this up. Yes, it's my case. I would have put it together, put the screws together, I think. I'm not too sure if it's got screws. And that's my USB, micro USB to USB, and my Wi Fi antenna. Um, the reason why I got this board um, was also uh, was because I want to run run it as a set top box, uh, plug it to the back of my TV, and run Android XPM for XPM C for Android. Uh, and another reason I got it is I want to try to turn it into a NAS drive, a NAS device, and use it as a torrent uploader. Um, I believe you probably be capable of using it as a um, like a NAS but for DLNA purposes so if you have a Android TV box you can probably um, uh, stream all your content from this to your Android TV box or your tablets and phones and other computers um, that was the main reason why I bought it uh, this particular board has quite a few different OS alternatives Apart from Android, you have a f quite a few Linux distributions. Ubuntu, I think, is probably the main one, but there's several other others. I haven't really checked it out that much. I'm not really interested in others. It's probably just Android and Ubuntu for me. Um, but yeah, I think the board was... Hmm, just trying to remember. I think it cost me less than 60, 70 bucks Australian. I think it's well worth it. Um, I think the boards are better than um, most Android TV boxes. Uh, I won't be comparing this to the latest S802 chipsets or the RK32 AA chipsets, but if you compare it to other uh, AM Logic 8726 um, dual core or the RK, other RK3188 um tv boxes android tv boxes i would say this is probably better this will give you a lot more options um overclocking i don't know better you might be able to use um uh, wi-fi usb dongle to get better wi-fi reception i'm not 100 percent sure but a lot of the forums i read um with the development boards you can use uh, dongles dongles don't tend to work uh, on all android tv boxes so I'm going to give that a go and see how we go. Um, I might make another video later on showing you what it looks like on TV and um, how the user experience is. Thanks for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, just ask um, down below. And I'll be more than happy to answer them to the best of my ability. And bye-bye.